The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but Jesus could not escape notice. Soon, a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about Jesus. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. But she replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then Jesus said to her, for saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. So today is again the day that we remember the apparition of Our Lady at Lourdes. And there are two things that I think that are fascinating about the apparition. I, they, fas they fascinate me personally because they are so, these two things are so in keeping with the ministry of Jesus and the tenor of the Gospels. Number one, where the apparition happened. It took place in southern France, and the exact location of Mary's appearance was in the little town of Lourdes in a depression. There was a depression in that town, kind of like a ravine. It was wet, it was dank, there were caves nearby, and that place was often town, oftentimes used by the townspeople as a place to throw their refuge. There was a bit of garbage in that place. I think that that's fascinating. Number two, how Our Lady treated, treated Bernadette. It is said, according to Bernadette, that she spoke to Bernadette in her direct village dialect. Southern France, you know, when we think of the French people and that beautiful language that we hear them speaking, we think of the Parisian language with all that beautiful dialect, the sophisticated language. But Bernadette lived in a little country town in the south of France, and their dialect was uh, sharp, it was uneducated, it was kind of twangy, I guess you could say. And that's the dialect in which Our Lady spoke to Bernadette, in the dialect of southern France. And the Virgin treated Bernadette with great courtesy, she said. It made so much, Bernadette was so taken by the courtesy that Our Lady treated her with that it impressed her mind for the rest of her life because Bernadette had been accustomed to being treated without any courtesy. She was a slow learner, a slow student in school. Her parents were very poor. As a matter of fact, the little family lived in what was an abandoned jail cell in the town. They weren't treated well. That's number two. I think that these two things were among the definitive factors of the church's decision in making this a certified real apparition of Our Lady. Why? It is because the way that the Lord worked. Jesus went to the poor. Oftentimes, Jesus did something that was forbidden 
in the Jewish faith. He touched people who were sick. And he did all of that so that all his glory could shine forth clear without any, any haze. I think that we should approach our faith in the same manner. And so as people of faith on this feast day of Our Lady of Lords, let us offer our intercessory prayers. Indeed, today, in commemoration of Lourdes being a place of healing, we pray for all the sick, especially those who are struggling with difficult diseases. For this we pray to the Lord. Remembering Our Lady of Lourdes, let us think and pray for all the pilgrims throughout the years who have traveled to Lourdes for healing. May God bless them in their faith. For this we pray to the Lord. And let us pray for our health that the Lord may protect us from all diseases of mind and heart and body. For this we pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the intention of our Mass. Our Mass this morning, this morning is being offered for Godofred and Geneva Gakumo. May they rest in peace. For this we pray to the Lord. O oh, gracious Father, through Our Lady, the Blessed Mary, Our Lady of Lords, we ask you to hear us. For we pray all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen.